Welcome to the Age of Awakening. Please identify yourself. Enter. So let's start with this week's success stack, which is all about listening to understand, not to respond. Wait, what? (laughs) Listen, have you ever had a conversation with your spouse, your wife, your husband, significant other, and unbeknownst to you, he or she is kind of ticked off. You kind of get that vibe. You walk in the house like, "Uh uh-oh, the hell's going on here? What did I do? So you're like, I'm not really sure what's happening, but you feel like you're getting attacked right off the bat. He or she is upset and you're like, come on, what's happening here? Look, I know this has happened to you. It's happened to me. It's happened to all of us. Here's what happens, right? If you're like me, because right away, I'm like, what's going on? Immediately, I get defensive and I start to feel my heart rate going up, my blood pressure. I feel tension in my shoulders, like I'm embracing for battle. This is the fight or flight experience. And by the way, I have no idea and no mindset of fleeing. I'm there to fight. I'm ready to go. I'm not going anywhere. So now that I'm convinced I'm standing my ground and I'm ready to go at it, I'm like, okay, where's this going? What's happening? And I'm already beginning to prepare in my mind what I'm about to say. And I'm getting emotional. I know that the words are going to come out. They probably won't be as positive as I would like them to be. And this is going to take this whole situation from a level two to a level nine in a nanosecond because I never stopped to listen, to find out, and to diffuse her anger or disappointment or frustration. What do I do? I choose to meet it with my own anger, frustration, and disappointment, and that's what causes things to blow up and relationships to go off the rails. So here's the question, though. Does it need to? And what's the cost? What's the cost of being right? Is it hurt feelings? Is it resentment? Your lack of empathy? Your inability to understand, which leads to lost intimacy? And of course, long-term damage to you and your relationship. And at what reason? Just the need to be right? Guys, that's ego. That's crazy. And I've done it. I know better. I'm a little more aware now. I can't say I'm perfect at it. A good friend of mine once told me, he said, Jay, you're either working on your marriage or you're working on your divorce. Choose one. You can't have both. So I ask you this. What's more important to you, your ego or being right or being kind and understanding? So I have a suggestion for you. This is what's worked for me. When I start to feel I'm being attacked and innately I start to feel that resent or excuse me, I start to feel that anger welling up in me and I know I'm getting defensive. I stop, I take a deep breath in and I pause and then I shut down the response aspect. And what I do is I focus on listening, but not listening to respond, listening to hear and to understand. So I'll let her talk as long as she needs to speak. And I'll wait for her to to finish and I'll say, are you done? Right. But not in a, are you done? Right. Are you done? Or is there anything else you need to say? And then what I'll do is I'll repeat back to her everything that I just heard. So multiple things happen in this situation. Number one, they felt like they were heard. When you repeat back everything they just said, they know you now have an understanding and we minimize or eliminate entirely the conflict of lack of understanding. Secondly, there's a level of empathy and that begins to lower their anxiety, their frustration, their anger. And then from that point, my response is, what can I do if I did something wrong? Sometimes even if I didn't do anything wrong, what can I do to fix it, to make it better? Or do you just need to vent? So I let her choose. You need to do this. Okay, I'll do it. So sometimes do I have to crawl with the tail between my knees and, you know, just accept it. Yeah. But again, that's way better than not talking to each other for the rest of the night, sleeping on the couch and then having it spiral out of control. Believe me, I know I'll be married 36 years in September. I kind of figured some of this stuff out. So if you want to have a great relationship, learn how to listen, to understand and not to respond. And you can use this in any aspect of your life, in business, with partners, 
It's so powerful and you will great, gain great affinity with uh, your partners and your spouses and your team members and so on and so forth. And you will truly become a heartfelt leader.